than 17 days for the Flames as we are set to go at Rogers Arena. Glad to have you with us on Tell Us Flames Hockey. This one is underway as Calgary wins the opening faceoff. Period to tie it up before Lindholm wanted it overtime. That was an amazing feat because they looked in the second period like they didn't have a thing. Here's a chance for Hughes. What a move! Quinn Hughes backhand put it wide. Stoma just couldn't get his stick to his forehand, and then Quinn Hughes, the chance for Vancouver, dances through everybody. To the cross to Nesterov. In deep for Kachuk. Trying to get it back in front. He was tied up as the puck comes free, and Quinn Hughes takes off the other way for the Canucks. As he works it over the line to Grayevac. It's a pass to the circle. Hamannick scores! Second goal in as many games for Travis Hamannick, and it's 1-0 Vancouver. It's with Mark Michaelis, and Hamannick just kind of gets left undetected right in the middle of the ice there. You can see there's flames around him, but he still has enough time to take a look and recognize that he has a bunch of time in the slot there and just goes far side. Hanna with a wrist shot, looking for a tip. One off the stick of back and wide. Now Nordstrom finds a bit of room, walks right in front. Demko forced to make a save. It's Nordstrom was allowed to come right off the end boards and get a pretty good scoring chance. First period, Nordstrom with a good chance. Demko's been perfect so far. one nothing Canucks on Sportsnet. Demko will stop that in behind his own end and play it back up the boards. Besser waiting for it. He's checked. Backlund steals. Michael Backlund walks it across. Takes a look with a shot and a glove saved by Demko, who hangs on. This is that Tyler Myers, as you mentioned, is back. And here's another save by Thatcher Demko. Again, no rebound. Beats it over to Tyler Myers. Nice pass to Horvat. And he comes. Horvat shooting. And that's between the feet of Anderson and wide of the goal as we hit the final minute of play in the opening period. Back to Myers at the point. Wrist shot. Deming save. Rebound loose. And they score. Hoaglander on the rebound makes it 2 0 Vancouver. Here's the reason why he kind of lets this rebound go and not a ton of traffic. Heimer's kind of off to the side, but he does try and tip it, and maybe that fools Louis Deming as this puck hits him. He tries to find it again, and it goes right through his glove. On a nice play by Hoaglander to show some patience, not just shoot it right away in the slot there, but look for the opening. Calgary, too. Like, if you think about both these organizations and the potential for changes, I mean, anytime you don't make the playoffs, the ownership has the right to do whatever they want. Connor Myers. Nate Schmidt shoots, and that goes off traffic. Bounces back to Myers. Feeds it over. One-timer by Boyd. Blocked by Tanev. That hurt off a skate. He's hobbled. As Myers gets the puck, winds up with a shot, scores! Just as the penalty comes to an end, Tyler Myers makes it 3-0 Vancouver. It doesn't have to be on the ice, it no. can be in the air. But in as the long plane as it's, of the blue line. Yeah. Which was a good change, by the way. After Coach's Challenge video review, it is determined that the play was offside, therefore we have no goal. All right, there you go. Good challenge by Daryl Sutton. Get the initial shot off, and I'm wondering, does this hit Mark Giordano? It goes right through his legs. In his first National Hockey League game, always a thrill. Horvath. Now we got some rough stuff going on behind the play. As Horvath drops the gloves with Mackey. So Mackey's second straight fight in as many games. And he's able to wrestle Horvath to the ice. He really landed, but it has not been an overly physical game. It's heating up a bit here in the second period. Their night on Sunday as well. Mackey was involved, and there you can see Horvat's the one. He says, "All right, you got to go here." I didn't like that hit, and I don't think Mackey wanted much of this. A few little shots. Otter Myers takes a look. Throws one towards the slot, chopping away at it. Highmore swept it wide. Sharp angle shot that goes off the shoulder of Deming, and he's able to hang on after Tanner Pearson was able to chip it on goal. He goes on dealing with the traffic, just a bit more awareness as he was dealing with Pearson in front there. Matthew Kachuk on it. Drops it off to Backlund. It was the Canucks special teams that got them going on Sunday. The Flames look to return the favor. Here's Gaudreau with a shot. And that's turned away by Demko after we stopped Matthew Kachuk. Two or three saves here in a row. Point blank. This one on Johnny Gaudreau. Back of the former winner of the Peter Marr Award. Here comes Dubé. Shoot it! Stop! Rebound! Knocked away by the defenseman right in front of Demko made another save. Miller will try the other side as he plays it to Myers. Approaching the midway mark of the third period. Myers long pass. Brock Besser in. In front. Here's Myers activating. He scores! Tyler Myers jumps up on the rush and makes it 3 0 Vancouver. 
the Canucks are able to go up the ice. And nice little move here by Tyler Myers outside inside and just finishes this off behind Louis Domingue. Yeah, has a chance to get it out to Andrew, Andrew Mangiapane. Chips it in, recovers himself. Mangiapane cuts in front. Rebound, stopped by Demko as Rosicka got the backhand away. Mangiapane with a good move off the left wing. Very good here in the third. And a nice stop there off Rosicka in a 3 0 Vancouver lead. Kachuk protects, passes, control, poke check, and a chance for a breakaway. Might be a two on all as Horvat feeds it ahead. Hoaglander by himself. Stuck by the main. Got a piece of that. Hoaglander was being hassled on the back check by the Flames. Now he's knocked down. Loses his shot blocker. So Niels Hoaglander comes on in replace of him, and he gets in behind the defense. Finds Adam Ruzicka. Carries in. One on two. Takes a spill. Puck underneath. Ruzicka trying to get back to his feet. Now it's in front, Mangiapane scores, Andrew Mangiapane able to walk it across the crease and tuck it in with 3.22 to go. And Deming has to be sharp, and here's the opportunity here, Rizitska just falls down but gets back up, protects the puck, he's got some help from Milan Lucic and just great vision there by Lucic. Just goes back against the grain and then of course Mangiapane instead of shooting right away. Louis Deming now on the bench for the extra attacker for the Flames. Three minutes to go. Flames down by two. There's a shot on Demko. Makes the same stop. Richie two on the second chance. Bouncing puck. Flames trying to cut the lead to one here in Vancouver. Elias Lindholm into the circle. Johnny Gaudreau. Pass didn't get there. It was broken up neatly by Pearson. Kept in by Giordano. Gaudreau again. This time he shoots. Demko save. Rebound. Batted in by Kachuk. Matthew Kachuk cuts the lead to one with exactly one minute left in the third period here in Vancouver. The Flames kind of are turning the tables here, but you know, Matthew Kachuk initially, he tips this initial shot, which allows Demko just the inability to catch it with his glove. You just see his stick right there and it just kind of changes direction ever so slightly. And then he's able to put in the rebound. On Lucic. Pressure along the boards. Pass goes off a leg. Scooped up and cleared for the empty net. And that should do it. Bounced in from inside the Vancouver blue line. The Canucks restore a two-goal lead as Brock Besser. Doesn't cover the puck, just pushes it up ice. And unfortunately for Milan Lucic, he tries to put this puck down low. The Vancouver Canucks read it. And the Flames unable to get set up. And watch this puck just bounce and bounce as it goes into the back of the net. It could have bounced in many different directions, how high it was there. And this one is in the books. As the Vancouver Canucks, late surge by Count.